Kane's quest is an incredible adventure and a massive undertaking. There are piles and piles of work to get the machine ready and get the racer ready as well. Let's check out this incredible racing adventure from Labrador. Well, I'm, I'm out to win, that's why I'm here, so. Came for the challenge. Oh yeah, there's gonna be difficulty everywhere. I'm absolutely here to win it. As long as we finish, we're happy. It's gonna be a tough one. But I, I love the race. There's no problem. We're gonna do our give, best. Give it a good shot. We're gonna give it our best. Time to nut up or shut up, I guess you'd say. It's, it's something you get it into your blood, you can't get it out, eh? That's the only sport I'm good at, racing. I told you that in Kujwak two years ago. Take your money and go to Florida. <laughs> Actually, it's somewhat of a sickness, I would consider it. Uh, somebody's got to be, uh, got to have a strong back and a weak mind. Looking for an adventure, and I think we found it in a big way. This Kane's Quest snow endurance race is as tough as I was kind in the world. And I think if you ask these teams when they come back, I'm sure they'll concur. There is no doubt in the minds of the organizers that Kane's Quest is the ultimate challenge in the world of snowmobiling. You need only look at the incredible backcountry location of Labrador to understand how the unique and diverse terrain will challenge riders to dig deep and persevere like never before. Weather, the cold, and the relentless physical and mental demands of the 3300 kilometer route are all additional factors the teams must be prepared to overcome if they expect to even finish this competition makes you wonder what possesses the riders to sign on. It all can't happen until all the pieces are in place. And of course, an important piece for these racers. And uh, they've been, uh, a, lot of, a lot of these teams have been back since, uh, since we started. Uh, they've uh, come back to support the event. They love doing it. They, uh, they're, they're professionals and they're, they're good sportsmen. Um, they keep coming back, I don't, I don't know why, sometimes. I got, and I'm sure they ask themselves that sometimes. Uh, because they, they put in some hard hard times, but you know what? They sign up for the adventure. And I don't know I don't know where you could get a more extreme or wild adventure than you can here in this event on Kane's Quest. Boasted as the world's toughest and longest snowmobile challenge, the 2014 route chosen for the competitors is one that clearly backs up the claims. All in, the route will tally up a 3,313 kilometer challenge for those who dare to take it on. Appreciating that the backcountry of Labrador is very unforgiving and that the extreme remote nature of the route will take these competitors into far reaches, Friday is an important day. First off the line will be Team 87. The mandatory racers meeting determines starting position and provides a chance to update racers with any news or changes to the program. It's also time for an official welcome from the provincial government. I'm pleased to see everybody here. Kane's Quest, of course, it's uh, the largest endurance race in the world. We're very proud. I'm wishing everybody all the best. Thank you very much. Race teams must have their sleds and gear thoroughly checked to ensure everyone conforms to all the rules and is equipped with the vital safety and survival gear that must be required to get through the adversity of harsh weather or mechanical breakdown. If there was ever any question about how Labrador West, and realistically the whole of Labrador, has embraced the Kane's Quest race, you need only drop into Lab City Arena for the meet and greet and open house. Hundreds of local friends, families and neighbours all attend to show their support and offer best wishes as the team show off their sleds and gear the night before the race. These types of events gave everybody out, they put a smile on their face. Uh, you know, there, there must have been close on a thousand or more people went through that arena last night. Um, you know, the parking was halfway down the street. Uh, you know, everybody was out there was, uh, you know, supporting the locals and, and welcoming the, the visitors. Uh, extremely important, um, you know, it, uh, it, it's a... Uh, it's amazing, uh, you know, how much support the people of Ladder West give to this race, and, uh, and I thank them for it. 